Hi, this is Melanie from Screen Time with Mel, and today we're going to talk about Big Sky, Season 3, Episode 3. So, let's go ahead and get into it. Hey everybody, thanks so much for being here today. Uh, if you're returning, I really appreciate you coming back, and I hope that you enjoyed this video as much as you liked the last one. And if you're brand new, hey, thanks for finding me and checking me out. Hope you like it. If you do, go down below and hit that thumbs up button. And don't forget to hit subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. And hit the bell so that you're reminded each time I come out with a brand new video. Now let's talk about the episode. Alright, so I actually already recorded my review and recap on this episode. Because I like to do it right after I watch the episode. So you guys can get a fresh take on it. Unfortunately, apparently something happened with my camera. And it deleted most of it. I don't know what happened. Anyway, uh, so I've got to re-record it. And um, I did watch this about a week ago. And I'm about to watch the next episode, which is episode four. Um, so I can get that posted this week. Anyway, going to go back into this here. So we started at the beginning. So at the very beginning, we left off right when um, episode two finished. And that's where the girl found the um, the irritated camper dude in, at the river cleaning off lots of blood off of him and seeing a gash in his head and she freaks out starts running when she sees him he goes chasing after her she of course stumbles and she's searching for something that she dropped I thought it was her phone but she's searching frantically for something that she dropped and there's a hand on her shoulder and she whips him around screaming and it happens to be the camp helper guy the super duper attractive ham camp helper guy cannot remember his name but the one that Cassie is very interested in is freaking out and just telling him that he, she found him in he's trouble and blah 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 I don't know the exact words but that's the way that it ended up up rolls this one guy he's like no 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 it was a misunderstanding I wasn't chasing you to hurt you I got hurt I fell I stumbled this that and the other um, but of course the girl that came with him is missing so, and she thinks, this is, this is, uh, the, oh gosh, I can't even remember her name. So, if, it, because I haven't just watched it, so, but it's, the, it's Bo's daughter is who I'm talking about that saw, that saw him. So she, it's, she thinks that this irritated camper dude is, uh, is dangerous and tells camper helper dude <laughs> that, uh, that she thinks he's dangerous right anyway he says we'll go back to camp and we'll get this all sorted out and so Bo's daughter and irritated camper dude walk back towards camp and camper helper dude stays behind and finds the knife that Bo's daughter dropped okay find, finds that knife picks it up and keep and hangs on to it why he didn't give it back to Bo's daughter I don't know but he didn't. Maybe he didn't realize it was hers. So we go from that to where they're all at the camp talking. And uh, irritated camper dude is now got some bandages on him. And he's telling everybody about what happened to him. As they start to disperse, Bo's daughter's like, I don't trust him. We need to keep an eye on him. I just don't trust him. And we need to go and find this chick. Well, he's saying that the chick what just left and um decided to leave entirely and creepy mama who is sunny the lady that reba is um, is playing she says oh yeah we checked her tent she's gone her bags are gone etc etc and that'll become more important at the towards the end uh but yeah creep so creepy mama says hey she's gone he's right he moved out Next up, we go to Bo and Jenny. They were called out to this farm because there's a dead, there's a body laying in a field. And they're like, what the heck? So they go out there, they go out to this body laying in the field, and it, it is a body. Um, and then they start getting shot at because it's on the farm of, on the land of some very untrust, trust, full, untrustful people. And uh, so he starts shooting at him. And then they finally get everything calmed down and come to find out it's that guy's brother. So they got to get to the bottom of that. He did not shoot him. 
um, he was just protecting his brother's body so that they didn't like run away with it. But they they all realize they're on the same side, so they go and um, get to the bottom of it. Well, come to find out, um, they there was somebody out there trying to scam them, telling them about some gold that they found. It's this whole gold scam is pretty well known. And as soon as they mention the name of the supposed company that's running this gold thing that has this scam going on, Jenny was like, uh, obviously she recognizes something there. So she runs off to go check it out. Meanwhile, like Bo's like, what the heck just happened? Um, goes check out something and they meet up with her and just a few moments later come to find out this is a scam that her mother runs. Well, they end up locating her mother and she's in town and she's connected with the guy who's a person of interest in the murder of this other guy. Right? I don't know any names, so hopefully you guys are staying with me. Um, but they, he, she's no longer with the guy who's a person of interest. She's in town to get her money back because he ran off with her money or something like that. So this is what she's telling Jenny. Well, this happens to be Jenny's mother, but she keeps running off. She has no relationship with Jenny, and she's acting like she wants a relationship with Jenny. And Jenny's like, you didn't even come back for me. So they decide to go undercover, and yep, they decide to go undercover and um, try and to try and catch this guy that's running the scam. Well, me, meanwhile, back at the camp. With, the, with the, the people disappearing on the trail, the deadly trails. Bo's daughter still pushing because she's like, something's wrong, something needs to be done. And she asked her dad, hey, what'd you see in that room? He's like, I told you I didn't see anything. I didn't see anything. So he doesn't tell her about the gun that he found in, in the woman's duffel. So he's being very cagey. And I'm, I'm wondering, this is her stepfather she's talking to. So I'm wondering why he's being so cagey about it. Anyway, he's being very cagey. And he's like, no, it's probably nothing. Don't worry about it. She just left, etc. And he's like, no, she's insisting something's wrong. Then Bo and Jenny, they go undercover. Oh, oh, oh. And before Bo and Jenny go undercover, Cassie and Janine, I think her name is. Or Denise. No, Denise. Cassie and Denise, who are the PI firm. They work at the PI firm. They um, find out, they get some information. Um an email comes in from their missing hiker and her, to the mother and the mother's still suspicious because this this particular person would never email and he wouldn't it, he only texts or he calls directly so the email is very suspicious well in this email is a picture so um, Denise and Cassie decide that they're gonna go and go up to this trail to find this particular spot. Well, while they're on the way there, they run into somebody with uh, a, 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 off on the side of the road. Well, it happens to be creepy, creepy guy from the very beginning. Creepy guy, creepy, creepy lady son. So Sonny's son, um, and he, his car overheated. And he keeps insisting, I don't need help, I don't need help. He almost knives Cassie before Denise jumps on and says, hey, we got to get going. And then they run off. Well, the reason why he does this is because he's got the missing hiker in the back of his truck. The body of the missing hiker in the back of his truck. And Cassie sees the tarp and she's like, what you got back there? And he's, he's, anyway. So they go, they go their separate ways. He doesn't get caught. Uh, he does tell his mom that, uh, later in the show that he was almost caught and she of course gives him what for tells him how disappointed she is in him really not liking her reba i love reba but i don't like reba's character yeah not a fan anyway i know i'm jumping all over so let's go back to the bow and uh jenny timeline where they are trying to get information on this scan or this the scam that's going on. Um, they're trying to, to get the guy. So they, they go they go undercover to go um, get the person of interest from the scam thing. And they have to take out like $30,000, I think, to prove that they're serious about it, about investing. That's really what it is, the scam. It's like, 
We found a bunch of gold, but we can't do anything with the gold without your investment. Blah, blah, blah. So that's what the scam is. So they go undercover and they catch the guy in the act of doing the scam. They're just about to arrest him when some guy comes running down shooting. Happens to be the brother of the guy that died. So he, he um, just interrupts the whole sting operation. One person runs, run, runs uh, one way. One person runs another way. Jenny p goes towards the, the suspect. And um, Bo goes running after the bigger guy, which is the, I guess, the bodyguard. And is not part, part of the whole scam thing. Goes running after him. They catch their respective runners. And when Jenny catches the suspect, he goes, Oh, yeah, I know I know who, who told you where I was at. But she always gets what she wants, doesn't she? What she wants, doesn't she? And all of a sudden, Jenny freaks out. And she goes running back down. Well, the $30,000 has now disappeared. So, Mama took the thirty grand. Mama took that thirty grand. And she is so, Jenny's so frustrated about it. And the two things that happen towards the end, there's a bunch of other stuff that happens in the middle, which you need to watch. There's some more details, I think, that are, that you should watch to find out. But the two important things that happen at the end of this episode are, one, um, Jenny's mom goes and hooks up with Tanya with that load of cash. And if you remember, Tanya is the chick that used to work for the cartel and is now selling real estate and has the restaurant. <coughs> so she goes and meets with her with that cash. So we're going to find out here soon what Jenny's mom is doing with Tanya. The other little piece that you need to know is you go to Creepy Mama, which is Sunny, Digging a hole out in the middle of the woods. Not a body size hole, but it's a hole. And she takes the bag that from the chick that's missing that she said left because her luggage was gone. Yeah, she takes her luggage, throws it in a hole, but goes through it first and takes out the gun that was in there. And then tosses it in a hole and buries it. So those are the two most important things that uh, that you need to know about this episode. I really want to know what's going on with Creepy Mom. I mean, is she like evil killing people and making her creepy creepy son help her? Or is she just desperate not to have bad public publicity? Or is it all of the above? I mean, there's no good reason to kill somebody. Unless they're trying to kill you, okay? Maybe that's a good reason. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, just... Uh, <laughs> you guys, let me know what you're thinking down below. What do you think of this particular episode? How are you enjoying this season? I would love to hear from you. Thank you all so much for watching through to the end. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And if you didn't enjoy it, hit the thumbs down. And let me know exactly what, how you feel. I appreciate any constructive criticism. And besides the algorithm... Uh, it gets a little boost whenever my video gets a little boost whenever you interact with it. So I appreciate that. And of course, thank you all so much for watching until the end. I hope you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.